Good afternoon, Shade Tree Joe, and we're doing something a little bit different today. Um, well, I started this project a couple days ago and kind of didn't start writing video on it just yet. I'm in a bit of a rush. I've got to go ahead and get some stuff done with this before Monday. It's Wednesday. Um, Monday, I got to go under the knife, and so I'm going to be lift restricted for a while. And I'm really trying to get as much on this accomplished before uh, that happens. So what we're doing is we're going to uh, LS swap this club car. This club car right here. And uh, we're working inside the shipping container. I started all this when the weather was cold and wet and nasty. And uh, at least I've got some uh, protection from the weather right now. Well, we get this going. Grand, the weather's nice. It's freaking gorgeous out right now. Welcome to Oklahoma. Uh, bipolar winter, son of a, uh, whatever. Uh, so anyway, when I say LS, I mean this guy. Leaning single, seven horsepower. So we're putting an LS7 in this go-kart, golf cart, club car, whatever. And a little forward reverse box action going on right there. So those guys are going in here. And I've got the dump bed off of this thing and we pulled all the batteries out. So this was a 48 volt uh, electric setup. And if you've priced uh, six volt deep cycle batteries for golf carts, you can probably figure out why we did what we're doing. Uh, I'll tell you right now that brand new replacement Trojan batteries for this T105s, a set of eight, is almost $2,400. And then, of course, all the repair wiring to go ahead and replace all the corroded battery cables and whatnot. Or motor, transmission, torque converter, associated bits like a jack shaft and some other stuff. We'll be into this for less than, well, it'll be right about 700 bucks by the time we buy an actual battery to run that. It's going to be electric start. Uh, like I said, forward reverse box. It's going to be pretty much functioning just like the electric version of this. The only difference is it's going to have a gas motor that is going to sit right here where that chunk of lumber is. So I'm just kind of mocking things up a little bit. But yeah, this is where this is going to happen. It'll be under the, the dump bed. I've got the dump bed off, like I said. I got the doors off, as you can see, just to give me extra room to work. But uh, you know, not only is this going to be a, a whole lot more cost efficient, but we're talking a solid 500 pounds lighter, even with the new equipment in it, than it was. So, yeah, it's going to be worthwhile. Okay, so here we are. I'm fixing to go ahead and call it a day. It's getting dark out. Um, I've got the cross members actually bolted in place now. I had to cut out a piece of the aluminum subframe, so to speak, that was the battery trays, but uh, there was also a piece that went here all the way across uh, between the front spring hanger or the front spring hangers for the rear axle. Uh, it wasn't necessarily under tension, but at the same point, um, quasi-structural. So uh, we've got a piece of a two-inch angle stock in there now to replace that. The motor is sitting a little bit higher than I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and drop it down probably an inch. I've got a couple of uh, pieces of rectangular tube underneath there, so that's why it's sitting where it's sitting. But that's pretty much going to be it. Uh, jack shaft's kind of Bluetooth right now. But what I did do was get my drive set up on this. This thing here is kind of funky. There we go. So this end is uh, and is a number 10 SAE. What the fuck? Okay, so the sprocket end of this is a uh, three quarter inch round stock with a 3 16th keyway in it. The other end is 
the piece off the electric motor and that matches up with the 5 8 inch 5 8 no uh, 3 quarter inch SAE 10 spline okay I have I looked and looked and looked all over the interwebs and could not find anything that had a piece of 10 spline 3 quarter inch SAE. It's a standard size. I could go ahead and have a machine shop make it. I've got a machinist buddy, but I wasn't going to waste his time. So I harvested the other end of this off of the electric motor. And so that's going to go ahead and couple up with the rear axle drive. And I think the rear axle drive on this is eight to one. Um, no, I think the high speed is eight to one. I think the low speed is 12 to one. Either way, and I can modify that with the uh, uh, rear sprocket on this. So we can go ahead and change gearing as we need to. But anyway, it's, uh, it's coming along. So the only other thing to do is go ahead and fabricate mounts for the transmission to go between so there's gonna be a let's get you back on there now come on you know you wanna such a pain to get on there anyway I'll get that in here in a second the uh, clutch there's got a sprocket or not the clutch the uh, torque converter's got a sprocket on the back side of that and that goes to the lower sprocket on the transmission, the upper sprocket goes to the sprocket on the jack shaft, and that turns the rear end. Yeah, so the uh, container here was originally supposed to uh, be off-site storage for work, but uh, right now it's not being used for that, and so I've got lights, I've got internet, I've got sound, I've got electricity, I got air conditioning and heat. I got coyotes. Correction, geese. Frickin' Canadians, shut up, eh? So, uh, anyway, that's where we're at with this. And pretty decent little spot to work. Uh, not exactly ideal for a car, but you know, for something like this with a, a go-kart, lawnmower, whatever, uh, something small, it fits in here and I put those dollies underneath the wheels. I can shove it from one side to the other so I actually have a little bit of extra wiggle room. Okay, well, uh, I'm back from uh, surgery. I'm sore, my, my guts are killing me, but uh, you know, it's, it's something needed to happen. So uh, anyway, we're uh, kind of on hold now until I go ahead and finish uh, healing up on this stuff. Uh, Doc said, uh, come back, see him in two weeks. And some of, my, some of my lift restriction will go away, but it's gonna be a good solid two months uh, or more before I'm fully off lift, lift restriction. So uh, the LS swap golf cart's gonna uh, have to sit in the container, which is fine. It's cold, it's wet, it's windy. I uh, might be able to hear the uh, rain hitting the tin roof. Maybe, maybe not. But, uh, you know, I'm not complaining. This thing's going to be up and running before uh, spring gets here. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. And uh, as soon as I go ahead and get some more progress going, I'll go ahead and get some more video out. We'll see you in a bit. Shade Tree Joe, have a good afternoon. Y'all be safe, be good to each other, and we'll see you next go around.